The Nanodrop 1000 is a type of spectrophotometer, a tool used in quantifying nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, as well as certain proteins. In addition, the Nanodrop can also evaluate quality via an analysis of the 260-280 nanometer ratio. The Nanodrop is comparatively simple and quick to use when compared with similar spectrophotometers. The following video will aid in the quantification and quality assessment of a sample of DNA. Before beginning, boot up the Nanodrop software. First, find the icon labeled ND1000 and double click. Once the program starts, the software interface will be displayed. Since we are sampling DNA during this tutorial, find and click the button on the upper left of the menu labeled Nucleic Acids. At this point, the Nanodrop is ready to be prepped. First, ensure that all procedural materials are gathered. This would include a P2 pipette and adequate tips, a vial of distilled water, laboratory wipes, and a waste receptacle. In addition, prepare a small aliquot of the DNA you are sampling. A volume of 25 microliters should be sufficient. We will only be pipetting material in two microliter volumes during this procedure. So make sure that the P2 pipetter is correctly set to deliver two microliters. If you have not used a P2 pipetter, or have trouble remembering how to correctly set the volume, first slide the locking collar on the pipette down. This will unlock the pipette. Twist the knob of the plunger until the display reads 200. On most P2 pipettes, the black numbers denote whole microliters. Before measuring the sample, the nanodrop must be calibrated with a control, a process typically called zeroing. This gives the apparatus a reference point when analyzing the absorbency of the solute particles in your sample. In most cases, the control is distilled water. First, lift the sampling arm and pipe at a 2 microliter volume of distilled water directly onto the lower measurement pedestal. To ensure an accurate measurement, make sure that the volume is transferred to the very center of the pedestal. If you are having trouble accomplishing this, one helpful technique is to use a finger of the free hand to study the shaft of the pipette while depressing the plunger. When finished, gently lower the sampling arm. After booting up the software and clicking on the nucleic acids button, a control panel with a grid will appear on the screen followed shortly after by a prompt directing you to load a water sample onto the lower pedestal for the purpose of initializing the machine. Having completed this, click OK. The machine will emit a clicking noise during this process. This is the sound of the sampling arm moving down and coming into contact with the lower pedestal. This is normal and necessary for the nanodrop to function as it facilitates the bridging of your sample between the two pedestals. Once this primary initialization is finished, the nanodrop will require a second. Just find the button in the upper left corner of the control panel labeled blank and click it. After this is completed, you are ready to load and measure your samples. Note that the button in the far left labeled measure is now available. If this button is grayed out and unable to be accessed, you may have to repeat the initialization process. Before loading your samples, ensure that the pedestals are clean. This will afford greater accuracy in the machine's ability to measure your sample. Lift the sampling arm and gently wipe both the upper and lower pedestals with a laboratory wipe. Chemical wipes are preferred over conventional paper towels or napkins because they do not leave residue or fibers behind on the measurement surface, which could result in a faulty measurement. After cleaning the pedestals, you are free to load your samples onto the lower pedestal. Do this in the same manner which was used to load the water sample for zeroing. As a reminder, make sure to load the sample onto the very center of the lower measurement pedestal. If the sample is loaded too close to the edge, proper bridging of water between the two pedestals may not occur, and measurement of the sample will not be possible. If you make a mistake, just wipe the surfaces clean and try again.
Having loaded a sample, direct your attention to the control panel. Locate the button labeled Measure in the upper far left corner. Click this button to begin measurement of the sample. The nanodrop will run for a few seconds and upon completion a graph of the sample's absorbency will be displayed, along with pertinent data on the right. The quality can be ascertained by noting the 260-280 nanometer ratio. This value is found in the lower right hand corner. For DNA this ratio should lie close to 1.8 with deviations no greater than 1 tenth. The quantity of the sample can be found in the lower right corner as well, highlighted in green. The concentration is measured and displayed in units of nanograms per microliter. If you wish to measure more samples, clean the surfaces of the pedestals, load another sample, and click measure. When you are finished, find the button labeled exit in the upper right hand corner. This will return the program to the initial interface.